In Oklahoma, the OU Health Hospital is counting on federal pandemic relief funds from the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021. However, Republicans in the state have given OU an ultimatum. If they want to receive $108 million in rescue plan funds, Oklahoma Children's Hospital will have to stop providing gender-affirming care for transgender youth. Oklahoma's Republican Governor Kevin Stitt signed this into law on Tuesday. Let's listen to what Governor Stitt had to say about the new law and his appearance on the conservative podcast by Clay Travis and Buck Sexton. So one thing that's gotten a lot of attention from certainly conservatives in, in recent uh, weeks and months are the revelations about uh, transgender surgery on minors, sometimes as young as 12 or 13 years old. You are leading an effort in your state to stop this practice, at least in the hospital system. Tell us what's going on here. Yeah, well, first off, we were totally shocked. I mean, every governor, you know, citizens around the country, we need to find out what's happening because we found out there were these, you know, gender transition surgeries, which are really, you know, sterilizing minors and doing permanent surgeries to, you know, 12, 13, 14 year olds. And so uh, we put a stop to it. We blocked funding. Um, I called the legislature to stop that, uh, you know, statewide, make sure we put a ban on that. Uh, I don't think taxpayers want this to happen in their state. I mean, especially minors. This is uh, really troubling to me. These are healthy children, and, uh, and you should not permanently do something, um, you know, and, or allow that to be done in your state. And so I think it's pretty, pretty common sense to us. Despite its claims, some taxpayers in the state of Oklahoma do want their tax dollars to fund gender-affirming care for their fellow Oklahomans. The Washington Post reported that parents of transgender children who are receiving care at Oklahoma Children's Hospital say that they may have to travel all the way to Kansas or Colorado for the care that they need. One Oklahoma parent who isn't the least bit happy about this development is Shane Poindexter, whose 14-year-old transgender son has been receiving hormone suppression drugs through OU Health. Poindexter, interviewed by The Post, said of the treatment, it is someplace they can go and be who they are and be accepted. Kids are bullies. It was mentally destroying him. The love and affection from that place is amazing. We don't know what we are going to do now. Washington Post reporter Kimberly Kindy explained that the move which Governor Kevin Sitz signed into law on Tuesday marks the first time conservative state lawmakers have successfully tied gender-affirming care to the receipt of funds from the American Rescue Plan Act. The $1.9 trillion effort to restart the economy and harden medical care during the coronavirus pandemic. Stitt, a first-time Republican who is up for re-election next month, also called for the GOP-controlled legislature to ban some gender-affirming treatments statewide when it returns in February, saying in a statement that he wanted to prohibit all irreversible gender transition surgeries and hormone therapies on minors. Transgender medical treatment for children and teens is increasingly under attack in many Republican-led states, labeled as child abuse and subject to criminalizing bans. But it has been available in the U.S. for more than a decade and is endorsed by major medical associations, including the American Medical Association, the American Psychiatric Association, the American Academy of Pediatrics, and the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry. All agree that gender-affirming care is clinically appropriate for children and adults and can be life-saving. Thank you for watching Raw Story TV. Please be sure to visit us at rawstory.com. Stay informed and tap below to take action by liking, subscribing, and joining all those who like their news raw.